All right, back. Coach V here. If you don't have one of these and you're a tennis player, shame on you. This is a medicine ball. This isn't a very big medicine ball, but it does the job. If you want to work more power, you can get a heavier one, or you can just throw this one further. So I'm going to run you out through a medicine ball workout. Let me give you all some tips on throwing the medicine ball. Yeah, first, how not to. Okay, so I see this, and I see coaches teaching this, so shame, again, shame on y'all, as far as throwing the medicine ball like this. And you can see my butt is back, and all I'm using is my arms. And guess what? I see players hitting the ball like that. Because the medicine ball, they do medicine ball work, but they do it wrong. Again, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Do it right, that's that's gonna trump hard work, smart work, correct work, whatever you wanna call it, is gonna trump that. So what I want you all to focus on is when you throw the medicine ball, making sure you load your legs, use your body, okay? That's from the front view, here's a side view, same thing, load your legs, use your body, not this one, you see my hips and everything's just, locked in you're going to get no power and if you happen to do that on your forehand and you get the ball late here you're going to have elbow problems so you always want to make contact here but use your body throw your hips throw the hips through and then then the energy goes up through your body obviously into your hand into the racket but the medicine ball, if you don't know how to throw it right, that can detriment your game. So make sure you uh, get with a coach that knows how to help you, uh, how to recognize if you're doing something inefficient with the medicine ball. That's first. You have to learn how to throw the medicine ball properly. Don't throw it from up here. Now you're going to strain your shoulder. So those are some tips, some, some things I, I see as a coach and it's, it's your responsibility as a coach to say something if you see it and you say nothing even though you know they're not supposed to that does just as much damage as if you were to teach them to do that because you're allowing them to do that so again I'm coming after some of those coaches that just really don't care and are knowledgeable or care and are, and are unknowledgeable you have to get out there there's plenty of good information teach yourself so you can teach people how to not get themselves injured so I'm going to do a medicine ball workout here I'm going to focus on good form throwing off my right leg for my forehand throwing off my left leg for my backhand remember I'm a righty so I'm going to work some of some of these uh, some of these uh, some of these throws and I'm going to do a little leg workout uh, there at the end and so it's uh, going to be a good total body workout and also helping my tennis game here we go So great, great start throwing off my outside leg. If you feel uncomfortable throwing off your outside leg and you just don't practice it because you're like, oh, I, I hit off my right foot. Well, that's like you're at the dinner table and you tell everybody, well, I'm just right-handed. You only use your right hand to eat. You're gonna look pretty dumb. There's gonna be situations on the court where you're gonna need to use that left leg. For example, balls up high and you're trying to hit it off your right leg that's very often but if you get on that left now all of a sudden that ball becomes very easy there's an example so train both sides and challenge yourself so now I'm gonna step in and throw I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump okay 
I'm just gonna step in and throw. Now I'm gonna go off my front foot. You have to be able to remember, throw off both feet in tennis or hit off both legs. Here we go. Get another good good series there. Now I'm working things that are gonna help me hit the ball harder, more efficiently, but you know, obviously less effort. Alright, now let's do some some legs. I'm gonna do some some uh, squat jump passes so you get down real low. Touch, chest pass, do a few of those. Then I'm do it on one leg. Um, then I may do a few a few other ones for for those that want to see a little bonus workout at the end. So again, now I'm working good fundamentals. That Those last two series I did there, that's for, you can use that on return of serve, you can use that on high balls, sometimes the kick serve return, stuff like that. For the kind of the advanced, as you go up, you gotta be putting that in part of your workout, your medicine ball workout. So everything I did there, I would go through, I, I did about half reps, I did, I think four to five reps of everything. I would normally do 10 to 12, and then I would run through that two to three times. Doesn't take long. 20, 25 minutes tops. You get 20 minutes hitting on the wall before that. You got that workout. I mean, you're, you're definitely working smarter than most of the people that you're playing against. Because, again, people don't know, use, know how to use their body. They are doing the medicine ball workout. They're doing it wrong. It's not your fault. You're just probably getting some poor coaching. Poor, uh, unfortunately, that's out there. There's a lot of it. Keep your questions coming to me. I'll, I'll, I'll help you. All.